Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Karen Drew. First at four, no matter your personal experience with Art Van Furniture, it is one of those local businesses that's really been woven into the fabric of our lives. Generations have shopped and worked there. We have team coverage this afternoon. Paula Tutman talking with employees, but first, consumer investigator Hank Winchester has the news we heard was coming, but we're still trying to digest, Hank. Yeah, Karen, it was a big shock, I think, for many of the employees inside here to hear that final news and also for many customers making their way inside the store here in Warren today. Uh, here's the latest information. Here's what we know right now. 141 art van stores are going to close altogether. That includes Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, and Missouri locations. Sales, we're told, will begin tomorrow at all art band stores across the Midwest, including right here in Metro Detroit. Some locations, like this location here in Warren, they could stay open for another 60 to 90 days, but all that all depends, rather, on how this plays out in bankruptcy court. But we had an opportunity to speak with a representative for Art Van. Here's what she had to say. We had been trying for the last month to work with our creditors, our lenders, and everyone to work out some kind of a, a deal, and it just didn't come to pass. Do you think it was online competition? I mean, what led to the financial issue? I think it was a combination of a lot of things. Back out here live, it sounds like within the last few weeks, an effort was made to try to prevent this from happening. Unfortunately, it didn't work. And as a result, more than 140 art van locations, not only here in Michigan, but across the Midwest, will soon close. Again, many people coming in today asking about those sales. If you make your way into a store today or tonight, you're not going to see any. But tomorrow, we are told the big discounts will begin. We're live here tonight in Warren. Hank Winchester, help me hang. All right, Hank, and now our coverage continues with Paula Tupman, who is gathering reaction from all over Warren. And Paula, first, what are the Art Van employees telling you? Well, first of all, I get the sense that many of them have been reading the tea leaves for some time, but that certainly doesn't make it any easier when you hear it for sure at the big company powwow this morning. Employees tell me they've been expressly instructed not to speak to media in terms of interviews. But two things I observed while walking around and casually chatting at the flagship store in Warren today start with shock. After 20 years, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, nice you figure people. we have about 75 years, the three of us. Yeah. I think we're all dazed. I think we're all numb. And I've been with the company for 29 years. But I also saw incredible professionalism. So let me see if I have something okay. like this in stock and I'll let you know, okay? Employees with decades of experience, unwilling to let go of their customer care, even as the clock ticks down on their employment. One employee told me he thought the writing was on the wall when buyers were let go months ago. Because without buyers, a store can't create relationships with suppliers. And without suppliers, the pipeline begins to shut down for merchandise. As incredibly gracious and polite as the employees were, Warren Mayor Jim Fouts was anything but. Instead, he is hopping mad today. He would be turning over in his grave because I think he would be shocked and devastated what has happened to a great charitable company and especially to the employees who have their lifetime investment in this company. In a letter delivered to him early this morning before the big announcement, it was revealed that the employees will be let go as early as May 5th and in the process, letting go of 3,700 employees nationwide, company-wide in stores under the monikers of Art Van, Sleep Stores, Wolf, Scott Shoptrine, operating in eight states. In Warren alone, 13 warehouse supervisors, 42 team leaders, 38 merchandise pullers, housekeepers, sales staff, a total of 262 employees at this facility alone. Enough is enough. We have to stop investment companies from thinking they can come in and turn a successful business into just a little bit of cash. It's, it's really called corporate greed. And what does a furniture salesperson do who's been in one place for more than 20 years? Treat customers kindly, as if that relationship will last another 20. And that really was remarkable to see, knowing that that May 5th date looms large, truly May Day, because all of these employees will have to find some other kind of work.
Karen. Oh, your heart goes out to all of those families. 262 positions lost, Justin Warren. Thank you, Paula. Our coverage of this story continues all evening long. First at four, we're going to talk about your reactions on Facebook. We're seeing lots of opinions and trending stories. Then at five, what this means for customers and for the local cities that really counted on Art Van for those jobs as well as tax revenue. And then at six, how Art Van went from local powerhouse to closing down its all on Local 4.